he must increase, but I must decrease. Such a succinct and profound statement of truth. In fact, so much so that I've decided to wear a paraphrase of that on my chest right now. Loud and proud, he greater than I. Now John the Baptist was continuing to try to uh, describe for his followers what was happening, this transition that was going on where the prominence of Jesus' ministry was ascending and his own diminishing. And I think that sometimes when people read these words or hear them read, they imagine that John was engaging in some kind of uh, grand uh, and noble act of humility where he was stepping into the wings and giving Jesus the stage. But that's not the case at all. In fact, he makes it clear that it's not when he says, he must increase. This is the Son of God. He is the Son of God. He owns the room. This is his stage. This is his show. I am merely and gratefully so a spectator in this amazing display of the glory and grace of God before my very eyes. And when he talks about having himself needing, it, he must decrease. He's not talking about his value to God. He's not talking about his worth. He's talking about his role. That the right way to live is not the, 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 the only course of life that makes sense. This must happen, he says. I must tuck myself in behind his lead. That's where life is lived best. When I allow Jesus to be my Lord. Where he leads the way. 